Hi everyone and welcome to part 25 of The Sims 4 Seasons. So today is New Year's Eve and everyone is starting off their day by grabbing some leftover fish dinner for breakfast. I mean, it doesn't really sound like the best breakfast, but whatever, you know, it's always good to not put food to waste. But we are, of course, going to be celebra celebrating New Year's Eve in this part. So I wanted to set up a little house party for later in the day because I think we're just going to have it here even though this apartment is cramped and doesn't always work well for parties. I think we'll just do it here because this is also our last part with them living in this apartment. So I feel like we should just celebrate New Year's Eve here. You know, I think that's definitely fitting and I'm really excited for them to finally move out of this place in the next part because look at that. She's dazed from whatever that wretched smell is that's under the couch and then she is as well. So I think we definitely need to get them out of here because this apartment is not good for them. So I will have some sort of machinima in the beginning of the next part just kind of showing the renovation because as I discussed a few parts ago, I wanted to renovate it bit by bit, but I want to do an initial renovation to make it livable for them. So rather than doing a speed renovation showing that, I'm just going to do some kind of machinima showing trans transition shots and making it look like they're doing, they're doing the work. So that'll be really fun to put together. And then I also wanted to make a speed build of the last lot to put into the neighborhood they're in just to finish up the neighborhood. So yeah, I've got all that to do for the next part. So it's probably going to be like two or three weeks before I get the next part up, but it's going to be a very exciting one and I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, she is supposed to be working today, but I think, I think this is a holiday that actually gives them the day off work, right? Does it? Okay. Yeah. Day off work slash school. Yeah. So they all have off, uh, which is good. I actually wish that, um, cause I know here in the U S at least, Usually, New Year's Day is the day you're guaranteed to have off, but that obviously wouldn't work as well as the game. But yeah, like I had to work New Year's Eve. Like I could have taken off, but uh, I didn't really have any vacation days, so I just went in. Uh, but yeah, you get New Year's. Wait, is she making a toast? Oh, that's awesome. That's a little early to maybe be drinking. What is that? Where did you get that from? They don't have a party here. Where did she get? What is this? The Sims? Where did she? Where did that come from? Or she just whipped that off because of the holiday. Let's. <laughs> she is like already celebrating, even though it's like seven in the morning. I mean, that's cool. All right, so she has to pee. Let's have her do that. I don't know why on earth. Hopefully, she puts that drink down. I think she put it down, right? Yeah, there we go. Now she has it. Where, where did this magical drink materialize from? It's. <laughs> oh, I wanted to also have her view her badge progress just to kind of see what we have to do to get each badge because she does have her first scout meeting today, which is really exciting. I don't think we follow her on it though. I think we, I think we just, uh, like it's just a rabbit hole thing. Like when she goes off to school, but still it's really cool. I don't know if she, if it like tells you who's in our scout troop, cause that'd be really cool. So let's see arts and crafts to earn this badge, make crafts, drawings, or paintings, civic responsibility to earn this, perform cleaning or repair actions, give back. So donate items for charity from the mailbox and the computer. That's cool. Outdoor adventurer, so do outdoorsy activities, keep fit, dance or exercise. That's really cool. Um, so it's kind of self-explanatory what we have to do. So entertain a toddler, take out trash, or help someone with their homework. This is really cool, though. I like this. So I think this is the amount of interactions you have to do to get this. So this seems like this would actually be pretty easy. So we could even just start on some of these before she goes off to her meeting. So we'll have her do some friendly... Ooh, she needs a pee, though. Um, there's a bit of a line to go to the bathroom. Okay, so we'll let her... What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay, you really need to pee. Just go in here and do that so you can do that once she leaves. There we go. Yeah, so I think this will be just kind of a chill part where we mostly stick around the apartment. Because uh, like I said, this is our last part in this apartment, so I think we should spend all the time here we can. But let's have her go ahead and do some friendly interactions with her sister just to try to get that badge. Build up that relationship a little bit. I think that's good. Because that'd be awesome if we could have her get one badge because I think... I'm not sure if that's friendly, though. I think that's friendly. Yeah, because, like, oh, look at that. See, it just told us that that was one of her ta one of her uh, tasks. Yeah, because it says to become a Griffin Scout, earn a badge. So if we could do 12 of these interactions, that'd be really cool. Just to get her on through the ranks. So that's really cool that the scouting has levels to it. Like, I guess there's, like, a gold level equivalent or, like, an eagle scout equivalent to this. And look at that. Yay! Because I wonder if they could do service projects too, kind of like in Girl and Boy Scouts. So we'll ask for... Actually, no, let's not do that. I don't really feel like teaching her to type right now, so we'll brighten her day. Look at that. Discuss world peace. That is definitely friendly. So look at that. Is she singing? <laughs> she was just singing. 
Yeah, I think they're actually on their way to becoming friends. Yeah, they are friends. So that's really good now that she's a little bit older. The two of them are actually starting to get along because, you know, things were, of course, a little touch and go when they were, they were younger. You know, it was a little more contentious. So I'm glad that things are getting better between the two of them. So we'll look we'll around with her. And what is she doing? So she's singing to the cat, apparently. You're talking to the cat. So we'll blog about gardening tips, try to maybe do something to get her gardening skill up over here. Because she did need to get to level 5 for her career. And I see that blogging about gardening tips will also get her a little bit of fame. Oh uh, yeah, because I saw seeing a few parts ago. I just thought it would be really cool if she did some how-to flower arranging videos. Like, I'm really excited for that. You know, like, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to make her become like a 5-star celeb or something like that. But it would be cool to get her to 1 or 2-star levels. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're just singing together. We'll spin the New Year's Eve noisemaker. Do some more friendly interactions. Oh, look at that. Like, they're both just really into this holiday. So let's see what we've got. Party spirit. Make resolutions. Count down to midnight. So she really loves this tradition. Uh, decorate. So she ignores that. We should do a bit of decorating too. Super Bowl. Oh, right. Yeah, tomorrow was also the Super Bowl holiday that I made. Um, so we got that. So I guess we'll get to that in the next part. I'm like, oh, they can throw like a little, a little um, Super Bowl party at their new house. Like just kind of like a housewarming thing too. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, so she loves the party spirit tradition and countdown to midnight. What does she like? So she loves decorating from being family oriented. All right, so what is she doing? I think she's still blogging about gardening tips. I'm not sure if there's anything else that we can do. Yeah, there's not really anything we can do from the computer. Oh, listen to space launch. That's really cool. I guess we'll do that. No, oh, yeah, so she's on the road to fame. I don't think she's built up any fame, though. Yeah, but uh, we'll listen to the space launch. I think that was something new they added in. But let's try to do a little bit of decorating. Um, so we'll just get rid of this, and I think we got the card. We'll just put it out again, because I think that's the thing that's most likely to accomplish that. Like, I don't think just changing that decoration will help, or maybe it does. But let's see if we got some New Year cards type. There we go. I think that's like New Year's Eve type cards. So there we go. It's fitting that we're going through New Year's Eve in this game, like right after going through it in real life too. Definitely a definitely good timing. Um, so let's just plot this here, and then go with uh, I think that I think that works right. That feels New Year's Eve. -y. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. So maybe that's enough decorating to get this done. Or not quite. Jeez. All right, well, let's try making things just a little bit more festive here. So what do we got? I don't know what else we have that really works for New Year's Eve. I mean, we could have a... I mean, we are throwing the party. So maybe we could just throw up a banner. Like, we can lower... Uh, let's just... I don't know. Let's... <laughs> There's not really a whole lot of space in here to really do some decorating. But there we go. We'll lower that a little bit. Put the banner above it. Change to a color that works for this. I think that works. I think black and gold are definitely the, the colors for this. And is there anything else that we could throw in here? Um, maybe... Is this like if we size it down? We can have it above here. So let's see what we got. Ooh, that works. Okay, so let's see if that is good. Or we could also stick this up in the window like it's a window cling. So we can have it in their room. I think that'd be fun. So let's actually put a few of these in, because there might be another one that works for this holiday. So let's see what we got. Okay, so there's not really anything else that's New Year New Year's Eve-like, but we might have something with the freezer buddy decorations here. Uh, there we go. That works. So hopefully that is enough to actually accomplish that. There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to accomplish that tradition. Look at that. They all accomplish it. They're all really happy. Excellent. Ooh, let's also set up the party because that's a thing that we need to do. So we'll just uh, add event. We'll make it a house party. Okay, there that is. And then, of course, we can't do gold event because it's a holiday. So we'll make these two the host. And unfortunately, we're not really able to invite too many people because, you know, we can't fit that many people in the apartment. But we'll invite Brendan and Connor. I mean, they could invite Erica. I don't know. I feel like we should invite Erica, but then... I mean, she's friends with Erica. Like, she got along with her really well. I think she gets a hint that they're thinking about rekindling their relationship because Erica was telling her at the party that she she wants things to get back how they used to be and wants to... 
be a part of Connor's life. And she didn't ex explicitly say that she wanted to get back together with Brendan, but Madison's able to read between the lines and kind of gets at that, gets that that is what's going on. And I think she actually, no, things are a little, a little iffy with Nikki, so let's not invite her. Maybe we could invite Amber and the problem is like, I want to invite the whole family, but I know not everyone can fit in here. Oh, maybe we should just leave it at those three. And then maybe we can invite Julia too. And then let's invite Penny as well because she's our neighbor. I think we'll leave it at that. So there we go. Those are our guests. But um, anyway, she has mixed feelings about... Yeah, there we go. Um, She has mixed feelings about her... About uh, Erica and Brendan kind of considering getting back together. Because on one hand, you know, she of course has some level of feelings for Brendan and wants something to happen. But then she's also been stressing out about it because she's just unsure about like whether things will work out and, you know, uncertainty around what she actually wants within a relationship. So it's kind of a relief for her in a way that that's possibly taken off the table, but then again, it's something she wants. So she's very conflicted, but, you know, if if they want to figure out if they can get back together, then she is willing to take a step back and let that happen because she understands that it is important for Connor to potentially have his mother in his life. And that is something that several of you expressed in the comments of the last part because I did have a lot of fun reading through and seeing what you all thought of the situation. A lot of you had some really, like everyone who commented on it had really good thoughts on the situation and where they thought it should go and what they thought of it. So thank you all for leaving that feedback on the last part because I always just love reading that. But let's ever do some more friendly interactions with her, see if we can get that badge. Because I feel like at this point we are very close. So we could definitely go over and view the progress soon. So let's talk about school with her, just tell her how things are going with that, share New Year's Eve excitement. Uh, what else? Discuss interest. I think that is definitely a friendly interaction. Reach social level five. Yay! Yeah, she did have a head start because of her skills. Yes! She ordered the- she- not ordered the badge. She got the badge. Awesome! So yeah, I think when she goes to the meeting, she is hopefully going to become a Griffin scout. Wait, do we have to? Okay, so how, why does this not say earn- she earned a badge. So I think we have to go over here and view badge progress. Okay, so we have to collect badges from here, but I don't know. We'll just view it first anyway, because maybe we've made some progress on other ones. And then afterwards we can collect it, and then we have that done. Okay, stop freaking out about the route. Don't worry, you won't have to deal with that for very long. So yeah, that is complete. Uh, we haven't really done anything. Oh, she's done one good deed. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and collect the badge. So we will collect the sociability badge and I'll give her a little fame boost, which as I said in the last part, makes sense, but doesn't make sense. All right, so she has been promoted to Griffin Scout. Yes, so she has received the scouting manual. That's really cool. So let's see what we have to do now to get to the next level. So to become a unicorn scout, she has to get two more badges. That is just really cool. I love this whole thing that they added to the game. Uh, we'll just sell that because uh, we definitely use the money. And I was impatient, went ahead and bought it myself. So what are we doing? We are chatting with Robin. Oh, maybe we can have Rachel and Robin playing the snow song. That might be nice. But let's have her actually read the books to get her gardening skill level up some. So she has volume one there. What did I do with volume two? I think I put it back in the bookshelf, right? Did I? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we'll just stick that in our inventory and then have her read that a little bit to get her gardening skill up some. Because, uh... All right, stop listening to the space launch. Let's actually get up, with, get on with some skill building. So what are these two doing? So it looks like they are outside. Oh, are they building a... Hold on. Oh, I hate the jumpy cameras around the apartment buildings. Yeah, so they're just celebrating. I wonder if they can... Oh, can they have a snowball... A snow fight? Oh, yes. Let's have a snowball fight with Rachel. So they can just do some more sibling bonding out here. I think that'll be nice. Why on earth is she not in her outerwear? That's fucking me. She's got to be cold. And it looks like a lot of the snow is sort of starting to melt. Because I feel like it's a little deeper for her. Maybe this is how it always looks. <laughs> she's just like, she's just standing there. Okay, so she's got her scout meeting in one hour. And then she's just laughing at her for completely missing her, even though she's standing still. Yeah, I feel like they're not quite dressed for the weather, but whatever. Okay, that completely went through her. Yeah, so not really the most... Uh, enthusiastic snowball fight not really any crazy throws or anything okay you know what i'm done with this let's have them build a snow pal together so build one with her i love how their relationship is going up though like it's just really nice to see that they're actually friends and getting along now so i, I just feel like things are in a much better place with their lives than when we first started this started this let's play because it was definitely pretty rough then but i don't know i think things are just getting better you know they're kind of 
moving on with their lives. Although they, of course, you know, remember their parents. They keep them in their memory. They're not gone, but, you know, it's... As time goes on, it heals a little bit. It still hurts, but... It's far better than it used to be. But look at that. I just love that sibling bonding. It's so cute. Let's go over here and get a... Ooh, hold on. Love this shot. <laughs> Although, let's try to get one with uh, Rachel in a little bit more. Oh, I just love this. <laughs> I want to see how it turns out. I just like seeing how they turn out. Alright, so we're getting a little further with this. Alright, there we go. Just had to get another screenshot. Alright, now I'm good. I think I've got enough shots of this. And how is she doing with her reading? So where is she with her skill? Where was it? Guarding. Okay, so she is not... Oh, she's putting it away. Okay, so she's got to go off to a scout meeting now and look at her in her cute little costume. Oh, I love it. I love this llama scout uniforms. There we go. It's done. What a cute snowman. Oh, I haven't built a snowman in years. I used to try to... I remember like, when I was younger, I tried to make a snow dragon because... When I was um, in, like, middle school, I was obsessed with dragons for whatever reason. Like, I don't know. I was just really into, like, fantasy novels and stuff like that. Um, so I was just obsessed with dragons. So I just make, like, a snow dragon. Oh, let's fill this. There we go. Fill the bowl. Yeah, I'm just accepting the fact that we're not really going to make a whole lot of progress with our gardening skill today. Because I'd imagine it is very dry to read a book for that rather than just actually doing some gardening. But... When we move, we can actually have a garden and we won't have to go to the community garden and do that. Although I'll still definitely visit from time to time. Like to hang out with her friends. Because I know I haven't really done a whole lot with the garden group that she's in. But that's of course because we're in the dead of winter right now. So there's not really much that we can do. But once it's spring, what's she doing? Is she just talking to her book? <laughs> what's that? I don't know if that's because she's dazed right now. Like she's just a little loopy. But <laughs> I've never seen a sim do that before. Oh, what is this? A buttery barter. The scouts are selling cookies, of course. While out in the neighborhood, Rachel happens to notice that the selling price seems a bit lower than she remembers. The troop is trying to raise money for new fishing poles so they don't all have to take turns anymore. What should Rachel do about that? Hike the price, keep the listed price, and turn on the charm. Hmm, what would she do? I think she's good, so she would do this. <laughs> Here we go. Good thing Rachel maintained integrity in the cooking selling tradition. Even with a lower cost, customers can't resist Rachel's million dollar smile and bought mounds of her delicious cookies. Sweet! Oh, and then look at Rosemary jumping up here on the bed with her as she reads. That's cute. Alright, so we are making progress with that. Uh, but anyway, as I was, I can't remember if I completed the sentence or not, but yeah, once it gets to spring again, we'll do more with our gardening group and um, probably just go to the community garden where we're meeting with them, but I'll definitely be able to have her do a lot of the day-to-day, -day, like the working from home stuff at her actual house. So that'll be really cool. But what is she doing? She is about to use the computer. You know what? First, let's have you clean out the spoiled food because there is apparently some stuff that is getting quite nasty in there. So let's do that. Uh, so we've got, I think, two hours. I think I said the party to start at five. Yeah, so we got a couple hours before that. Rachel should be getting back any minute. Oh, maybe when she get ba gets back, we can average you the litter box because I think that's going to contribute to her getting a badge. All right, she's back from that. We got that in an hour. So let's have her go in here and clean the litter box. And why are you talking to Mucha Lucha over there? Wait, who? Okay, no, don't talk to don't talk to strangers in masks. Let's go here and clean the litter box. Uh, Cause I think that'll, I hear it was like the good deeds badge or there was like a responsibility badge, but there's like one of those badges that had to do with, okay. So it looks like that didn't really contribute to the, towards that at all, but did something. Oh, we can never empty the trash though, because I think that actually does something. There we go. Look at that. So that was that was something. And there's nothing in this trash to take out, so we don't need to do that. Yeah, I think they mostly use the bathroom trash can for some reason. Oh, why are you eating on Madison's bed? <laughs> Make no sense. Uh, you know, perhaps while we're waiting, we should ever get a head start on preparing some food. So we'll serve dinner. You know, actually, let's do a cook so that way we can make a party size serving. Uh, yeah, let's start. Oh, uh, because I think if we just do the regular cook or like serve dinner, it'll only do a four serving size. So let's figure out what we're gonna make. Ooh, that's something new. I think she might have learned that from making. Uh... Oh, nice. So we get a discount because she has parsley. But yeah, I think she might have learned that from eating at a food stall or something like that, or a restaurant or something along those lines. But yeah, we'll prepare that. That seems that seems nice. Okay, stop chatting. Let's make it. Let's chatting more food. So we'll try making the. Oh, she also knows to make pho. Hey, so she's learning how to make some good stuff. So let's go ahead and make a party size serving of that. 
Looks like Julia's here, and then Erica's here as well, and she looks really pissed off for some reason. Okay, so while she is doing that, let's have Rachel go over here and talk to... I guess we'll have her give an introduction to Erica, like just say hi, and it looks like Penny walked in. Connor is here as well, so let's get her into a party where... And talk to Connor. And then I believe Brendan just walked in as well. And I think that's it. Yeah, we definitely kept this party pretty small, which, um, yeah, we need to do with this apartment. So let's have her go over here and give a heartfelt compliment to him. Oh, we can also have her make believe or play make believe. So let me find that. Um, because that was a cool little interaction. So where was that? And then we can have her talk to, uh, you know, let's go ahead and call everyone to the meal. So they can all grab some. There we go. So now everyone can just eat together. And I think we should make, so I think we can make these resolutions anytime. But I'm going to wait a little bit later to do that. But um, yeah, I just, oh wait, you can go nature walking. Is that from a career or from a skill? That's really cool. I haven't seen that before. So we should try to ever do that at some point. Maybe when they move to Newcross, we can ever do this. So she can just kind of walk around the neighborhood and get to know it. Yeah, I know. Our apartment is small. Our apartment is small. Okay, so she's going to sit next to Brendan, which is nice. So let's have her oh, chat with him. Thank him for coming. Uh, discuss the latest games. Tell a dramatic story. We'll have her chat with Julia as well. So let's just tell an engaging story. And then we've got... Looks like we've got five and a half hours until it is midnight. So let's just ask about her day. Ooh, looks like we did something awkward. All right, what is she doing? So she's eating her food, sitting with Penny. Where's Connor? Okay, there he is. Oh, that's nice that he's sitting next to his mom. That's good to see them bonding. So I think around 8 or 9 p.m. is when I'll do the making resolutions. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit for that. So we'll thank her for coming. Let's also chat with Penny a little bit. It would be good to get to know our neighbor. So we'll thank her for coming, maybe ask about food, see what she thinks. I think I saw that pop up. Uh, would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah, come over. So I guess he's uh, he's inviting himself over to our little New Year's Eve shindig. Whatever. I mean, I guess we can fit one more person in here. So let me ask about her food. See what she thinks of her food. You know, she's trying a new dish. She wants to... Ooh, poor. Ugh, looks like she didn't do very well. But yeah, you know, she's trying something new. She wants to see what she thinks about it. Like whether she thinks she did a good job on it or not. I think we're just going to go ahead and have her make her... Mirror's resolution. So what do we want to do with her? So we can, uh, let's not do that. Complete aspiration milestone, get promoted, raise skill, write a book, lose weight. Uh, let's do get promoted. So I feel like she definitely wants to get a promotion. There we go. Madison, make the resolution, get promoted at her job. Make sure she has a couple of good, good couple days of work to increase performance. See the progress on the resolution by opening up the Somology panel. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, wait, where is this? Oh, that's neat. So she has seven days to complete that. I like that there's actually... I guess there's some benefit to completing it. So let's have her go ahead and make her resolution. I'm not sure if Rachel can make one as well. That'd be really cool if she could. So what do we want to do? Okay, yeah, so I guess she could. Yeah, I guess Rachel could because uh, we got get promoted in scouts here. So maybe we'll have that for Rachel. Uh, what do we do? Maybe get a significant other. Because I feel like... I don't know, like, we could do one of these as well, but I don't know. I feel like she, you know, she hasn't really been in a relationship yet, and she's feeling kind of, I don't know, a little weird about that, like, a little insecure about it. So I think she, like, wants this to be the year that she gets into a relationship and finds someone. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Um, you know, maybe with Brian. So we'll have seven days to complete that. So, you know, perhaps the spring season... You know, we do have love day this season. So, you know what? Maybe in the spring, we'll make that happen. Because, I don't know, I feel like there's definitely something there between her and Brian. So, perhaps we'll do that. So, let's go ahead and... What is she doing? Oh, she's taking a shower. What? Did she break it? <laughs> Come on. So, let's see if we can have her make a resolution. Good, she can. So, for her, we've got become a better student, complete an aspiration milestone, get promoted in scouts, raise skill. So, let's do get promoted in scouts. I think we could definitely accomplish that in the next seven days. So let's see how we're doing with these accomplishments. So we are these uh, goals. So we've, of course, made a resolution where... Uh, oh, we got to do more for the party spirit thing. So let's have her do some of those cheering type... Or like, uh, you know, enthusing in her... Oh, blow horns. And then how is she doing? So she's accomplished that. Um, she just has to watch the countdown. 
how she do it, so she needs to work on that a little bit more. I think she's making a toast right now or something like that. Like, they got their drinks out. So, what is this? Very uncomfortable. Nauseous is fighting- wait a minute. Is fighting the battle of the belly and losing epically. Oh, she's sick. What is she nauseous from? Is it just from, like, a bad- did she, like, drink too much? I don't know what's going on there. Maybe she's just sick. Yeah, she's probably just sick. Um, so let's try having her do some of those interactions. So, let's see if we can have her make a toast. Let's see if we can just do something to accomplish this. Uh, blue horns, we'll try that again. Although I'm not sure if that's one of the... Okay, tell jokes, that's what we want to do. So we'll tell a joke. Self-deprecating joke. That's what we'll do. Uh, let's see if we can have her do the same to accomplish it. Uh, why are there so few interactions showing up with him? It's really weird. Alright, well, you know what? It is after 11, so we'll watch the countdown to midnight. We'll just have everyone do that. There we go. Let's queue that up for you. Unfortunately, the party is ending, so everyone is going to be rolling out. But we can at least have them watch that. Okay, let's try to have her get on this again. So I figured out that the reason why it wasn't working was because I had the TV raised up onto the surface. So I think for that reason, they couldn't technically get to it. So I just did a little rearranging and got rid of the tabletop TV, put the wall TV in, and now it seems to be working fine. Yeah, because I didn't want them to not be able to do the countdown because of how I placed the TV, but we are good now. Um, and let's see how they did. So they still haven't accomplished that whole party thing, which is really frustrating, but we have until 2 a.m., so we have some time to still finish it. Unfortunately, it looks like everyone left before midnight, which is a little frustrating, and there we go, we did it! Yay! Oh, and it's also now spring months again. So we'll just tell a few jokes really quick to try to, you know what, actually, uh, just, just go to the bathroom. So we'll let her go do that. Uh, we can at least try to Madison accomplish it by telling a joke. So why can we not? Okay, she is too miserable to do this. Okay, you know what? I guess none of this is happening, so I'm just gonna go, I mean, they're having a good holiday anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end this part here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and bye!